Hi there carpoolers, welcome to Carpool. Each week I give someone interesting a lift and we have a conversation. This week's guest I've worked with for many, many years in various different places, both on planet and off. Um, please welcome into the passenger seat the charming, the funny, the wonderful Hattie Hayridge. Quick, just chuck it in, yeah, in don't worry, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> quick, Hello. quick, before we get a ticket hat. Yeah, yeah, quick, yeah. Quick, let's get out of here. Yeah. Hey, drive, oh, yeah. drive, drive. It's lovely right, to see you. Thank you, you too. Lovely to see you. <laughs> Has oh, it started already? It's all on, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, I accept I haven't done my clap. Let me do my clap. Oh, God, then. <laughs> yeah, Are you sure? I'm not Should going we to... stop? <laughs> <laughs> I like the wheel while no, I do your clap. I will stop while I do my clap. I'm going to do yeah. my clap now. Oh, shit. There we go. Hello. There we go. Hello. Hello. Welcome to... Is that, is that a clapperboard? That's my clapperboard. Oh, right, right, yeah, okay. otherwise it gets all difficult. Yeah. Uh, right. There we go. Now we're going really... Now I could have stopped here. Yeah, clap. yeah. That's I always thought you gone. might be coming this way. Would that have been more That's sensible? That's why I wasn't looking... No, no. You never know where the road Can I get around that be. way? Yeah. Can you get to, oh, let's do that. Because <laughs> we're heading to... Ooh, where are we you're taking to? me to where I have to be. Where you have to be. Oh, that's good. <laughs> we can go a long way, go a pretty way, because it's Let's sunny. Go it's a lovely day. It's lovely, it? I can't believe oh, it. Oh, I got so wet yesterday. Oh, yeah, me too. Walking around doing things, and it was very miserable. <laughs> oh, because have you still got your lovely old car? No, my old right. Wolsey. Oh, your Wolsey. No, yeah. no. Uh, that's my car now. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you where, where that is. No. Or what it is. Sometimes I have to park it so far away, I have to get a oh. cab back to the flat. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> The parking's so terrible. But I did want to talk about because you're good Wolsey. at that. No, Islington. <laughs> oh really? I, well, only only because of the Daily God. Mail. I wanted to confront the Daily Mail cliche. Oh, it's Islington. not even just yeah. What you mean, the Islington like, yeah. the party, the, uh, Tony the, Blair? The, yeah, the the, 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 the yeah. whatever they call the chattering classes. All yeah. That nonsense. As though I've never been to a dinner party round here. So. Actually, I don't think I ever have. Ever. I, I did live here for a while. Yeah. Quite a long time. <laughs> well, I never invited you. You knew. No. Me. <laughs> that was a that was a touch and go decision. There, well, it was, it? but I always go safe. <laughs> I like. I would like more. No, comments. I'm at my most more, decisive more when comments. I'm driving. Oh, are you? Are you? Yeah, really decisive? I'm really decisive. But would you have I'm raced over that and like no. just sort of skimmed Not past no the point. pusher? No point. No, there isn't. Is Not there? to be in the next bit exactly, of traffic. Exactly. The next bit. Exactly. That's one why yard away. It's always worth going a bit slower in London. Aren't yeah, it? it's I much like better that. to just go at big junctions yeah. rather than just a pedestrian I like, crossing. <laughs> I, like, I like to keep under the speed limit in London just to annoy people. Oh, do you? Yeah, 23. That's plenty enough. Oh no, that Wolsey I had. Yeah, was. You had that a long time though, didn't you? Yeah, I, I can't remember. The, oh, the woman before me had it 20 years. Wow. It was a 1969 Woolsey. Was it? Wow. And I had it 10 years. Wow. And I eventually got rid of it because two things. One, I did my tax one year and found I'd spent 900 quid on repairs God. and 30 quid on petrol. Because <laughs> <laughs> it never, never used to start. So I get in it, try and start Seriously, it. Seriously, 30 quid on petrol a yeah. year? That is yeah. impressive. Wow. Not because it ran well, but because it, it never just started. It never worked. That's a way of keeping And the, uh, also the AA started to think I was on a scam somehow. Because right. I always... had them out every other day. But so now, could you tell all the lovely carpoolers what oh. you're up to. Because you're doing, I mean, you're doing stand-up, really kind of. Oh yeah, that's still, my main. I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed yeah. that you're doing it, I think. <laughs> It's got more scary as the years have passed since yeah, I've done it. You know, I, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't feel it's got less scary. Oh, do you not feel? Oh, right. No, no, right. I still get just as nervous as well. Wow. You get nervous for different reasons. Yeah. In fact, I was less nervous when I started. Actually, I think I, I, I didn't I think, know what to expect. No, I suppose you're right. I mean, I think the very first time I ever appeared on a stage at all, I was absolutely petrified. Oh, but I, then I got into I did it spontaneously. Oh, did you? Yeah, so I didn't think about you it. You just clearly. got up and did it. But did you do, I don't know what, how, when you first, first started, did you do like an open spot in a club or something, one of those sort of um, things? Or? When I left school as a secretary. Yeah. Because I did a secretarial call. Because <laughs> I just love the way you say everyone's, secretary. Everyone's a secretary now, yeah. everyone types. Yeah, I know. So, so you have a special skill then. Exactly. Yeah. Blimey. In demand skill. Can you do, how many words per minute can you type then? Um, I, I passed this London Chamber of Commerce private secretary's certificate. Wow. <laughs> which was a two wow, year course. Oh. And three of us did it in a year because we were geniuses. Wow. <laughs> wow. And, um, and nobody had ever heard of it. I'd go to jobs and they'd nobody had ever heard of it. Right. Probably oh, really? a lot of degrees that people are going to get yeah. nowadays. So then I did that. I, I was secretary for 
quite a few years. Right. And then I thought, do you know what's going to happen? The bosses are eventually going to get younger than me. <laughs> so I um, right. I fancied being a foreign correspondent. So I went to university and did international relations. Wow. Because I, I, I fancied being that, a well, foreign correspondent. Yeah. See, I'm much brainier than no. you think. No, oh, there's me thinking well, all the time. Saying, when I wrote my well <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But actually, she's a foreign correspondent. <laughs> yes. Well, and I, did, I, I knew you'd done the sec. I remember you telling me about the secretarial. Yeah. See, did, after that, you just thought. Oh, yeah, I thought that was a, it. She's, she's a secretary. She's a secretary. Just downhill from then on. Yeah, yeah. You just stopped listening after that. <laughs> you probably did tell me in detail. Oh, I, was, I probably did. But, I probably told you my whole of my dissertations. Yeah. On Berlin, the wow. Yugoslavian civil wars, the wow. um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of Eastern Europe stuff I did. Wow. And, um, and then, oh yeah, I came out of university and there was no, I did. I specialised in Soviet foreign policy. I came out of university and there was no Soviet, there was no Soviet Union. Because <laughs> <laughs> I bet if Soviet foreign policy was brilliant. Yeah, I liked it. Great, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't have to speak Russian. Oh, you did, be, right. No, should, that would have been good. Yeah. To have done it with Russia. Yes. God, I've got this, this, I bought this set of things, learn Russian in three months, you know, the tapes. Oh yeah. I've had it about 15 years and I still ain't learnt. I haven't played them, but it didn't say you had to play them. It yeah. just said <laughs> if you buy this, you'll yeah. know Russian. Yeah. Exactly. Fair enough. You bought it, and nothing happened. I did my history O level by putting the the book, the textbook, under my pillow <laughs> and hoping it would sink in during the night. Did you pass? I think I, I did. You that did. One. Yeah, I bet you're really clever. I've actually always known that you're really clever, oh. and I've kept it block bottled in because I'm thick, <laughs> and I, there's a little bit of bitterness there. I'm sure you're there. really clever. No, no. <laughs> not in exam terms, definitely not. I know you can make shoes. Yeah, I can make shoes. <laughs> well, well, I suppose I suppose I still could. I haven't done it for a long time. Out of willow. Yeah, I'd have to use willow. <laughs> I'd have to use rattan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were rattan brogues. Ooh, I was right, rattan last night. <laughs> <laughs> but then what? So, the, but the jump from oh, yeah, foreign so correspondent I, slash secretary. Oh, yeah, I never got to be a foreign correspondent. because. Right. And also like the diplomatic service and all that. I had yeah. the ideas of that, but I realised I wasn't, one, I wasn't diplomatic. <laughs> yeah, you just said the wrong thing yeah. at some important party. I wouldn't have known what knife to use at oh any God, banquet. Yeah. And a lot of people on the course were like, they were actually sons and daughters of foreign princes, you know. Right. And I thought, oh my God, yeah. I'm way out of my league here since right. my, you know, yeah, not quite that class. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely, I've always thought you was you were well posh. Well, yes, I, I hide it well. <laughs> Purdy king and queen, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but then the yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That that's it. Yeah, no, then I went. Yeah. yeah, I know. I knew there was so, a subject there. Well, so I know, yeah. but I mean, because I don't, because I actually don't think. I mean, I, I the first time I saw you was on stage. You know, that's so I never oh, knew yeah. what you did before that. Oh happened. yeah. Oh no, so then I came out with this, actually a, a first in international relations. Bloody hell. And, um, <laughs> and then ended up being a secretary. Well, a temp, because I didn't want to go back to being a proper secretary. Right. So I just ended up doing a temp, doing other people's, when they were on maternity leave, I'd temp at different places. Right. And I thought, what went wrong here? I had a better job before I went to university than I ended up with yeah. now being a temp. Yeah. So I went to a comedy club and um, uh, someone said, uh, if anyone wants to get up after the interval, they can. So I just right. got up. And wow. Just, uh, and had you ever done any sort of performing before that, though, really? I mean, um, like in acting at school or any of those things? Oh, I was a red ant at school mm. in the insect play. Mm -hmm. It was yeah, see, the that's... thing that schools used to do a lot because, you know, there was a scene where people were dressed up as red ants or black ants. And right. then there was a, a battle. Right. And um. And we were all dressed in red plastic. Right. <laughs> and the, the teacher wouldn't let me wear my glasses because he said ants don't wear glasses. <laughs> and I actually fell off my bit of the stage and knocked over the scenery. <laughs> but then, so that oh, yeah, when, I but when you did that. I've actually done drama evening classes. Oh, I do. Right. Yeah. Oh, so you had got. I mean, it's just because it, it feels like that wasn't in your background or your. Oh, but, God, no. But because it wasn't me either. But I mean, that. But then no, you've done aunt, that, so actually, you had an interest I've in it. I've got these aunts where, we, where I used to go around. Um, the, my cousin, they, go, they can't understand how I can get, I don't understand either, how I get up on stage and do anything. Because they said when they, I used to come round, I used to just hide under the table. Wow. I was so shy, I used right. to hide under the table. Yeah. It was only there. because these two blokes came up and said, oh, will you do five minutes at our club in a fortnight's time? Right. And I went, all right. 
And they said, well, will you do that five minutes? I said, I don't know what I did. Right. <laughs> Wow. So then I then I was really nervous because yeah. I had like two weeks to, 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 get to write about something yeah. and oh, I was really nervous and I only had to do five minutes but but it was it was amazing. It was really all very quick. Fancy having a bike up this hill. That's oh, good, isn't it? It's a powerful <gasps> Are parallax. we going across that bridge? Oh, do you want oh, to? Oh, it's here. Is, is that here? Let's go across oh it. Oh my god, I've never gone across that Haven't bridge. Haven't you? You've got to go across that bridge. I've never worked out where it is. If this is where it is. I, it is. This is I it. Think it. Well is done. Where it is. Yep. It's Hors Hornsey Lane. For uh, people who are following us on Google Earth, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we're about to turn right onto Hornsey Lane, <laughs> go across the bridge of. I always think of it as the suicide. I bridge, know. I, didn't I don't want to know say that, that. I don't know if there is. Yeah. I think it has happened, doesn't it? But yeah. Hopefully not Probably. for many years. No. I, I, I always don't get know it, of I, any. Because I'm always nervous driving under it. Yeah, yeah, boing. Going over the top's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> boing. <laughs> boing. <laughs> don't have your roof open. <laughs> oh, love. I mean, how long was it from, you reckon, from the first time you ever went on stage to when you were kind of earning your living doing it? Was it, was it oh, pretty quick? Oh, about a year. Was it right? I mean, it's actually fairly quick, isn't it? That is quick. I, I realise now it's very quick. Yeah. Because there's people who've been, who I know have been doing it like 12 years and never even been on telly or anything. Right. Right. Mine was the other way around. <laughs> yes. Oh God, we're sort of going over like a red light. Oh. Well, not really. Sort of nudging a red light. Uh, is this right. the bridge? This is it. Oh, we're now lovely. going over the bridge. Look. <laughs> oh, we're quite high up. Oh my God, it's high. I know. Wow. There you go. It's really high. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> 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 you see, carpoolers, it's very important to give your passengers a fright, a little bit of a, a, oh, a thrill there. So I love the Docklands Light Railway. Yeah. Oh, this is very London based, isn't it? But still. Yeah, that's all right. I the think Docklands you could Light to Railway. That. It's like going on sort of theme park. Yeah. It is. It's I like love a it. ride, isn't it? And then especially because it hasn't got a driver. Yeah, a driverless train. Yeah. So then, because did you do like I can't even remember that Saturday Live and oh, all those yeah, things? Oh yeah, Friday, Friday, Friday Night, Night Live. Live. Friday Night Live. Yeah, yeah. So that oh, whole... no, all that was in the first year. Was I... it? Oh blimey! Yeah. So it's really quick. And that's yeah, a... yeah. Wow. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> Plateaued from then. Yeah. <laughs> I had my Groundhog Day. It would not be 1988. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Um, yeah, Friday Night Live. Uh, uh, Montreal Comedy Festival. That's right. Oh God, and that was then, so fast. And then there's was... one episode of Red Dwarf, and then it led right. to when we both got yeah, into yeah. it the next yeah. year. Oh my God, because that was very. Oh, in that case, you were much more. Oh, you're much better than I was, because it took me like eight years. I mean, by the time I did Red Dwarf, I started performing in 1980. Yeah, but it didn't mean I didn't know what I was doing. No, well, I didn't know. I haven't got a clue. I had <laughs> the faintest idea what was going on. And it's kind of, you know, in some ways, I'd rather it happened than didn't happen at all. But in another way, it was too soon because, yeah. you know, people say, uh, people assume that I've been doing it for years and they go, OK, well, well, we could take you on tour. And I go, oh, I only got 10 minutes. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, right. OK. You haven't got an hour and a half. There yes. you go. Yeah. Oh, no, not yet. But it was that thing of the people that we suddenly started to remember who would be on the cover of Time Out um, <laughs> suddenly and were ba massive stars and, uh, and then... You used to bitch about me then. I was on the cover of yeah, Time Out. Yeah, I would have done. I would have looked at that and spat yeah, who venom. Who she thinks she is? I've never yeah. heard of her. She had publicity pictures done before she even done it. She only exactly. had 10 minutes. She only didn't even have that. She had five minutes. Her second gig wasn't even a gig. It wasn't even an open spot. She already had publicity photos. <laughs> who she thinks she is? <laughs> I think that's what some people said. Okay. Then I kind of like, you know, started to like uh, put me foot on the brake a bit. Wasn't right. a Toyota, <laughs> a Toyota career, and then um, <laughs> the and then yeah, I the think like fine. yeah, <laughs> which if you, yeah, I think you have to not care what other people think. You got to not. Care. I cared a little bit, yeah, and then it's, I oh, just thought, oh, I not better to. not. Yeah, I thought oh, I better not. I could send round some more publicity photos, but I won't then. Yeah. <laughs> and now yeah. I haven't, I haven't sent round any for bloody years. Yes, now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, actually, I get them off Wikipedia. Yeah, no, exactly. Because well, people sometimes now say, if I ever, on the very rare occasion, I do some sort of interview or something, can we have a picture? And I go, I don't know, <laughs> I haven't got any. You know, I, I can take a rubbish snap at home and email you to you. Yeah. And I don't, you know, I, and I, whereas I used to have the, the uh, sort of portfolio yeah, the of thing, and you just, I don't know, I just don't. Bother yeah, it, yeah. You know. Last year when I went in to America, just on holiday, sort of thing, travelling about, the. Um, I always have like trouble going in. They're they're really tough at immigration in America. Right. And uh, I, and the bloke said, "What's your occupation?" And I said, um, "Comedian." He went, "Really? Tell me a joke." 
and it no, wasn't it, it wasn't a joke it, tell right. me a joke it was a are you lying to me tell me wow. a joke and I said um I said oh the reason I'm here is that I want to go to Disneyland the nice bits obviously not the touristy bits <laughs> and he just went you know, he just stamped it he didn't like <laughs> <laughs> didn't laugh, smile, go, right. that was rubbish yeah. or anything. No comment at all. And then as I just got past, I thought, actually, I've got a better joke than that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like really dithering in that little bit, <laughs> just by it past his little right. cabin. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, oh, should I tell him that one yeah. instead? That's about America as well. And I, go, ah. and I thought, no, 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 I'm through, I'm through. <laughs> but then didn't you do Craig Ferguson's show? Yeah. yeah, which is fantastic. I know, that uh, was so bizarre. I can't ever go back there again now because that was such a Hollywood story. Yeah. That it's like nothing can top Because you been there, bef had you been to the States before? I mean, you've been, you've oh, been yeah, there quite a few, yeah. yeah. Um, Oh, that wasn't say. After did Mon the first time I went was after the Montreal Comedy Festival. Right. A little group of us Brits they took to um, New York to do right. Carolines in New York. So this is all mad. This is all in the wow. first year. Wow, that's <laughs> extraordinary, isn't it? Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> the Carolines in New York, and um, it was on with this bloke, this American bloke, who was like really pissed off that there was a nine-year-old in the audience sitting right at the front is like going what's the noise they letting how old are you what are they let a nine-year-old in here is this a comedy club what is it a kindergarten what's a nine-year-old oh, yeah. in here? it's like really i always remembered that and then i went through a carrier bag the other day because i've like piles of papers and i go oh i'll do that later on and put it in a carrier bag mm. and i went through my 1988 carrier bag and i had oh, my yeah. little notebook and i'd drawn a picture of this bloke and he was like you know they had a bald bit in the middle and hair all round here and right. glasses and the name was Larry David <laughs> and then, wow. oh no Thought, is it too late to get in touch with him wow Hi, Larry. extraordinary I know and he was it was he I mean he would have well, I, I probably if you he was meant to be quite grumpy as a stand-up yeah but he was I mean, very funny it, it was great oh god it was very funny okay. I remember standing there going oh my god because when you quite knew thinking oh, it's laying into this nine-year-old right. in the audience but isn't that extraordinary that he's such a huge sort of iconic figure now? Yeah. But I mean, it would have been because it was pre signed, long pre signed. Yeah, yeah, long pre signed. Which is probably where that's right. He was still first, a stand up then. Right. I don't, because I didn't, I wasn't aware of him, but I'm just wondering how big a name he would have been in, in the well, States. Well, he was enough he probably, to headline. Right, right. Caroline's. So he was known there. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. But not a TV star. But you wouldn't have known him. Reason. I wouldn't have known. You know, if someone no, said no. it's Larry David, I wouldn't have known no, him. No, no. He was just one of the, you know, wow. people on the circuit. Wow. Oh, I should have opened that carrier bag earlier. <laughs> I'm scared to open my other carrier bags now. <laughs> See you All these business with... cards going, hey, ring me. Yeah, had, <laughs> had huge fight with bloke called Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, He's yeah. horrible, I hate him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But that must have been weird seeing Craig because I haven't seen. I, oh yeah, Craig. Yeah. Seen because I mean yeah. I used to see him see, a lot when he thing. lived here, yeah. and I, you know, I'm, yeah. I, I know so I went. I went. Went to. Um, LA because I hadn't been there for like 15 years. Right. I like going to America. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, New York and LA, I like going to. Some, I, saw that. I went to Atlanta as well. Atlanta's good. Did yeah. you do the Dragon Con? Yeah. Yes. I did that two years ago. It's which nice, Atlanta. Just extraordinary, wasn't it? No, I yeah, loved it. I there. hung around for quite a oh, while. I did you? Oh, you're lucky. I didn't have time to hang around. Oh, that I much. always hang around. I was trying to hang around. Yeah. Well, that must have been weird then to do. So you actually did. What did you do? For, yeah. Like, a few minutes on. Yeah, show, well, yeah. You? Well, I went to. I was staying in this hotel called the Magic Castle. Oh, it was, yeah, it was, I know. It. It's yeah, amazing. It was a thing on the Expedia. It was the cheapest right. one because it was being refurbished at right. the time. I was going for the one being refurbished place, though, at the time. Weird place. Yeah. Um, but it's um, where they do all the magic ca or magic stuff downstairs. Yeah it's, yeah, it's like an old castle. Well, that's the bit, but the hotel is like a motel bit next door. Right. That's nice as well, though. And um, I was there and then realised that, I mean, I, realized, I only realised about three years ago that Craig Ferguson, who was in Confidence and Paranoia, yeah. and a mate on the circuit, yeah. had his own American chat well, show. A big star in America. I know, I know. that was Amazing, fantastic. So then I realised they were filming like two blocks down. Wow. And I thought, oh, I'll go and see. Right. So, so you like, just went along as an audience? Yeah. I mean, you hadn't been in touch with him before. No, yeah. no, not with wow. him, no. So I got in and because I was on my own, they plonked me right like next to the cameraman right so i'm like down in my seat like this thinking oh no i'm right at the front 
And, um, <laughs> and Craig's like looking at the auto cue thing. Yeah. And lucky it's recorded a couple of hours in advance. Right. And, and um, he's like looking at that. And then he kind of kept looking. And then he goes, can we just stop this a second? And he goes, Hattie, is that you? <laughs> and I went, oh, sorry, I think I made me sit at the front. I didn't mean to sit at the front. And he went, what the bleep are you doing here? <laughs> I said, I'm on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, why didn't you let us know you could do the show? And he goes, do you want to do the show? And I went, uh, not now, I've got the wrong shoes on. <laughs> it was like yeah. Saturday night. This producer rang me and said, we think we've sorted it out. Wow. I went, all right. So all Sunday, I was at the hotel. Oh yeah, that was funny as well, because then I had to type out what I was going to do so I had to work out what I was going to do oh God, so they want to know they wanted to see a script word wow. for word wow as food for the lawyers to pass right. it so I had to oh type Lord. it out and use the hotel like fax machine God, <laughs> and there was like bits you know I um I did this bit that had um you kind of do the British thing don't yeah. you so, so there was a book title over here a couple of years ago called um is it just me or is everything shit yes and they said i couldn't say shit right i could say crap right so and then i said about another thing about something going all tits up and they said oh you can't say tits so i'm getting these faxes through oh, no. that are going to the hotel rece reception that just got a couple of lines on <laughs> no saying, shit no shit <laughs> crap's okay no tits it's like god they must think i'm doing like, what do they think i'm doing god, oh, all day on that sunday i was typing it up oh, bloody and, i mean quite a thing and, to do when you're on holiday oh and chirping into a mirror and I had, it had to be exactly like four and a half minutes right like trying to time it and right. remember it because it wasn't because I did put together a, a set that I don't normally do and some right. of it I hadn't done before because I was doing about being in America yeah. really. and it went all right yeah I was pleased with it oh, good. I was just good. so nervous it was like yeah. Blah, 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 blah. yeah one of the great I mean I think the big benefit we've had in our weird oh, careers is yeah. the people that we you, you bump into well like you with Larry David I mean that sort of thing is yeah, so that's bizarre I isn't mean it? in some ways it doesn't count when you don't know who they are you've never heard of them and you don't really talk to them I mean I've, I've met loads of people I must have spoken to him you must have done I but I've, have I've done. met really famous people that I didn't know were famous oh, when yeah. they already were famous that's oh. like, I've done I'm so bad at recognising people and I've said hello and then once they've left I've gone oh my god oh yeah you know, yeah. Was, <laughs> yeah John Malkovich oh but did you not know him? Or did you well, know who I he was when you met him? I mean, was... No, I didn't. I, I, it was before a lot of his more famous things. You right. know, like, it's that kind of thing. I also raise a light, things like that. Oh, another thing was, um, I was actually at a John Hagley gig, and this bloke, this young bloke came up to me and went, um, he goes, are you Holly at Red Dwarf? And I went, yeah. And he goes, oh, let me take a photo with you. And there's a photo of that. And he goes, can I get you a drink? And I went, because I thought it was a student. I said, yeah. oh, they're really dear in here, actually. I said, shall I get you one? He went, no, 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 it's all right. So then come back, we started chatting. I go, what do you do? He goes, oh, I'm in a band. I went, oh, all right. Because I, mean, I said, oh, I'm really crap on bands. I never know who anybody is. And he said, oh, he goes, he goes do, you, do you know the Kaiser Chiefs? And I said, oh, yeah, I love them. He goes, oh, I'm, I'm the drummer. <laughs> And they're all real, real Red Wolf fans. Are they? Yeah. Where? Where? And they gave there me a go. ticket for Wembley. Oh, <laughs> did you go? Yeah. Oh, well done they were you. Fantastic. fantastic. Wow. I saw a few bands last year, but they were definitely the best. And that is the weird thing with Red Dwarf. I'm sure you get the same. Oh, thing. I love it though. That's what I love. Isn't it amazing that? I just but it's love also the way a... that people can come up to you. Yeah, but there's a generation now that are, well, now in their kind of. Well, yeah, I know. I like who grew yeah, up with it when they exactly. were teenagers. You know, that's. Or yeah, I like it when a, like a bloke in his late twenties comes up to me and says, yeah. "I remember being allowed to sit up yes. and watch you when I was eight. Well, the one the, I don't the, mind that, the it's toughest one I've ever nice. had is my grandma really loves you. Oh, Not even my mum, my grandma. Oh, my grandma. Oh, my grandma. Oh, my grandma loves you. Can you sign a thing for her? She'd be so pleased. Yeah. <laughs> and they were sort of young teenagers, but they weren't yeah. toddlers. You know, yeah. They were, you know. Well, it is like four generations now. Yeah. It's yeah. nice though. Yeah. It's great to have been in something that's Oh, like, it's fantastic. Yeah. I no, just, no. That's why I think, you know, I don't. You know, like when you say and go, oh, I'm not going to be ever doing the O2. <laughs> <laughs> but I am happy, really happy that yes. I was in Red Dwarf. Yeah, yeah. It's been an arduous journey, but we ah, got there. It's been a pretty journey. It's been pretty. It's been a pretty journey.
I've been here before now, I think. About I know, it. Oh, have I? Yeah. Yes, I have. You, have, well, you will have done. I definitely. had my 40th birthday here. Oh, did you? Yeah, which is quite a long time ago. We won't go into that. Yeah, we won't go into that because I don't remember going to it. Well, I think you were invited. On that bombshell. Yeah, on that <laughs> bombshell. No, but let me tell you, I invited lots of people and they didn't come. It was quite sad. I'll, I'll assume it got lost in the post. Well, would you it remember before it? Before email. It was. I would have come. I don't miss the party. Yeah, I know exactly. You would have come, but you would have been invited. It was. I don't want to admit sure how long it was ago here? it was. It was a long time ago. It was 30, near 14 years ago. <gasps> we won't go. Let's not. We'll cut this. We're not going to talk about age. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, Best. that was fun, Robert. Thank you. That was great. Thank you, Robert. Because actually, you know, the more. When you're young and ambitious, I mean, being ambitious and wanting to do well in the world is kind of like being conservative and right wing, it's caring about yourself and not caring about other people. Yeah. But then when you kind of get to where you wanted to be you know, and you start to, you know, think about all the people you sort of trampled in your ruthless stampede to the top, um, you start to you become more left wing. Well, and, well, and, isn't that that's a, a beautiful theory? I hope you're right. I